here is our Blazing Five. That's a hot one. Let's blaze it up. Fire it up. It's Collins Blazing Five. Falcons and Jaguars. Jaguars, the game is in London, minus three. I'm going to take Jacksonville. Home team's favorites, excuse me, do very well in London. 21-9 and nine in London, and the Jags, 10th time they've been over there. Very comfortable as a franchise. Trevor Lawrence stunk against the Chiefs, but you know he's the second highest graded passer in the league to Tua right now? He is. Travis ATM is running very well. I think they get right offensively. I think it's a good team that just isn't right. This story is about the Falcons. No pass rush at all, so Trevor Lawrence will be fine, and their offense is a mess. Lowest graded passer in the league, Desmond Ritter. Sacked 12 times. Brutal. Detroit got to him seven times, completing less than 60% of his passes. This team struggles to do the easy stuff. Jacksonville's better. They get right. They'll be more comfortable in the pocket and overseas. Jags cover the spread. They win 30-23. Dolphins at Bills. It's risky, but I'm going to take Buffalo minus three. They're the only team that's top three in scoring offense and defense this year. They lead the NFL in third down conversion rate, meaning they can keep Tua off the field. And none of us love Miami's defense. Getting better, but it's not great. Josh Allen has absolutely owned the Dolphins, 9-2, 6-0 at home. The Dolphins are coming off a cartoonish 70-20 win. They are 3-0, but the wins are against the Chargers, Patriots, and Broncos, who are 2-7. The defense isn't good. I think Buffalo gets right. Remember, New England slowed down Buffalo, and I think Buffalo's defense is better with more star power. I'm going to take the Bills minus three to win at home and cover. They've been beating the Dolphins for years. They'll beat them again 31-27. Bengals at Titans. Mike Vrabel's an amazing underdog coach. I'm going to take the Titans plus two and a half. The Bengals, short week, played the late Monday night game. Now they have to travel again. I'm taking the Titans. Vrabel straight up as an underdog. Not against the spread. Straight up is 23 and 23. Most wins by any team as an underdog in that span. And the Bengals' offense is struggling. They lead the NFL with the most three and outs. Yards per play, almost no big plays. Now, Joe Burrow's calf is getting better, but he's still dealing with it, and this team is not throwing the ball down the field. They were outplayed by the Rams for the first half and bits of the second. Got a little lucky, couple of nice calls. Burrow played better late. I'm taking the Titans as a dog with Vrabel to win it 27-23. Doesn't even really feel like an upset. Vikings at Panthers. I like Minnesota minus four. 0-3 despite having the NFL's passing leader and leading receiver. They'll score points. They leave them on the field because they've had turnovers, which are fluky. Number two in yards per play. Kirk Cousins is completing 70 percent of his throws their rank offensively is number one in several categories for minnesota they move the chains the panthers now are going back to bryce young at quarterback he's completing 24 percent of his throws down the field they have no playmakers on the perimeter at all i think the vikings are a solid team that's been very unlucky they could have beaten tampa they probably should have beaten due to a coaching blunder the chargers I'm going to take the Vikings to cover and win 26-17. Patriots at Cowboys. It's a low-scoring game to me. I'm taking the Patriots plus six and a half. It's just too many points. The Patriots are one and two despite outgaining their opponents by over 200 yards. They move the chains. They just don't have big playmakers. Mac Jones has been a good fourth-quarter quarterback. Their top five in total defense, pass defense, third down defense. They'll get Dallas off the field. Their defense has been very, very good. That Christian Gonzalez has become the star at corner. The other thing is Dallas, Dak Prescott now with three offensive linemen banged up. They went and grabbed a center off the street this week. They're all banged up on the old line. And Dak Prescott, passer rating two of his last three starts, has been under 80. So Dak struggling, new offensive coordinator, banged up offensive line against the best defensive coach in the league. They played Miami. They played Philadelphia. This is a BB gun offense compared to that. I think it goes down to the wire. Dallas wins 27-23 at home. 
but six and a half is a lot of points. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.